Bad bosses are to blame for rise in workplace mental health issues. A recent study commissioned by global staffing business, Robert Half, showed that half of workers surveyed quit due to a bad boss. The survey results seem to support the theory that people leave managers, not companies. Mental health expert and the CEO of the Workplace Mental Health Institute, Peter Diaz has warned that bad bosses are contributing to a rise in mental health issues in the workplace. We already know that workplaces are increasingly under more pressure due to the state of the global economy and the level of digital disruption happening across all industries. These pressures are being felt by many people as employees are being asked to do more with less time. At a time when employees need to be further supported given the challenging economic environment, it seems many businesses and managers haven't got the memo. Peter Diaz says there are eight types of bad managers you could avoid for a mentally healthy workplace. 1. Rude and insulting managers. This type of manager seems to find joy in making others feel less powerful or special. They openly criticize you in front of others and even raise their voice from time to time. Whether they do it on purpose or do it without even realizing, this type of behavior is incredibly destructive. You can let them know how their actions affect you however often this behavior is attached to narcissistic personalities and those who feel threatened by others. Giving them feedback is unlikely to change their behavior. 2. Ungrateful and inflexible managers. Many managers struggle with the concept of thanks and making their staff feel valued. Even worse, not only do they fail to make you feel appreciated, they also fail to be flexible. As most millennials will tell you, flexibility in the workplace is very important. In fact, it has been identified by this generation as one of the most important elements of the ideal workplace. Staff need the ability to blend their busy lives with work, whether it be family, kids, or illness. Managers need to be considerate and flexible and find a way to meet staff in the middle. 3. Disorganized and last-minute managers. This type of manager typically makes their inaction your emergency. I think we have all worked with someone like this and can vouch from personal experience that this type of manager is dangerous and soul-destroying. Helping them to better manage themselves and their responsibilities is not your job. 4. Unapproachable and arrogant managers. This type of manager is difficult to work with. Often staff will avoid dealing directly with this type of manager because they find them so intimidating. Often when these managers do engage, they are always right and tend to gloat about it. This is a personality and style issue. You can can do your research and work out how to crack their self-loved veneer, but it can be a challenging task. 5. Managers pick and play with favorites. Unfortunately, these types of managers are everywhere. They overtly pick favorites and these people seem to get away with blue murder including not doing their job. They also tend to be the ones put up for promotion and other opportunities. Other staff often end up carrying the load which burns people out and leaves them feeling undervalued, underpaid and exploited. You can try to pamper the boss with praise and sell your soul to get into their good books. But if you are a person with a moral compass this usually isn't the best option. 6. Micromanager. This type of manager will give you things to do and then tell you how to do it and check every aspect of your progress. Most capable staff will only put up with this behavior for a short period of time before leaving or exploding. The key is to build confidence and trust fast while establishing mechanisms to keep your manager constantly updated. This tends to add so much work to an already busy load that most people move on to other roles to get away from the micromanagement. 7. Too busy and unavailable managers. We are all busy in the year 2019 but the people we should be most available for are our staff. If it means that managers have to get to work earlier, or lock in staff time that cannot be double booked, then this is what must happen. Managers who find themselves too busy for their staff are not managers, they are simply absent colleagues. Staff need engagement with their manager, they need to be able to access their manager to discuss and resolve issues and seek guidance on work-related matters. 8. Distressed and overwhelmed managers. Bosses are human too. When they are distressed and overwhelmed, they can become a risk to the mental health of their team. Self-care is very important for bosses too. Here you can encourage your boss to care for themselves. Do things they enjoy and have regular small breaks throughout the day to improve productivity. Bad managers can cause mental health issues in their workplace, and through bad management they can also worsen issues staff may be experiencing. 
If we can better equip businesses and managers to understand and deal with mental health issues in the workplace, we can save lives, many lives. Importantly, we can also help managers to be better managers. Peter Diaz and Emmy Golding have written and released a book to provide organizations and managers with practical assistance on dealing with mental health in the workplace. Their much anticipated book is called Mental Wealth, An Essential Guide to Workplace Mental Health and Well-Being. This latest workplace mental health book provides important guidance for all organizations, leaders and managers on mental health in the workplace and how to build resilient and meaningful cultures and processes that enable organizations to support and appropriately manage those with mental health issues. It is more important than ever that every business, organization and manager across the country is positioned to deal with mental health issues and understand the warning signs. We all need to step up and ensure we are taking care of people. The only thing that gets us through hard times is people. We need to help people and support them to cope and to be resilient. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.